In this video, we're going to create a GPT called Thumbnail Genius that takes in a thumbnail picture from the user and then analyzes it, the color palette, the structural design, the topography, and then spits out almost an exact replica of that thumbnail that the user has provided. On top of that, it will give you additional two thumbnails based on the design instructions that we have provided it. We'll also go through a step-by-step -step guide on how to put the instructions on the GPT instruction section in the configure tab so that way you can take this and build something on your own for another topic. With that being said, let's get started. All right, so we are at chat.openai.com. Uh, we can also actually first check the status of OpenAI. So we're going to come to status.openai.com. Uh, everything looks like it's operational. The API, ChatGPT all look green. November 24, no incidents reported today. Great. All right. So we're going to come back here. We're going to come to Explore section. Click on Create a GPT. And then we'll present it with the GPT Builder. So we're actually going to start with the GPT Builder. And then halfway through, we'll switch to the Configure tab to add our own instructions. All right. So I'm going to say I want to create a GPT called Thumbnail Genius that takes in an image from the user and recreates new images. So I'm going to start with that. Okay, so it's saying, how about the name Thumbnail Genius for the GPT? Does that work for you? I'm going to say yes. So again, we already provided that name for them. So it just it just wants to confirm and also created already uh, the description and the conversation starters. Again, we can fix this later on from the configure tab, but for now, that's fine. I want to go ahead and let it create a profile picture as well. Um, that looks pretty cool actually so i'm just gonna say that looks good that looks good all right so now it wants to ask us about the thumbnail genius behavior so instead of continuing in the create and the gpt builder we can actually now switch to the configure tab and actually provide the instructions ourselves so we're going to come here get rid of this and give it our own structure so the first step is going to be to give it an overall mission overall goal so that way we can go ahead and give it further step-by-step -step guide on how to proceed with asking the user for an image and then continuing on uh, updating and providing new images based on that original message so okay so the first thing i provided is your mission is to engineer and replicate youtube video thumbnails ensuring they conform to the industry standard 16 by 9 aspect ratio um, and again, this is to make sure that the image quality stays based on YouTube's thumbnail standards. And then I'm going to say that this involves a series of steps, each crafted to ensure that you generate the most engaging and visually appealing thumbnails possible. So this is basically our overall goal that we're providing to the GPT. And now we're going to go ahead and provide additional step-by-step -step guide on how to take the image from the user and how to interact with the user's based on the custom instruction that we're providing here. All right, so now step A is gonna be, we want the GPT to initiate the process by asking the user for an image uh, to upload, right? Because the whole point of this is to take an image and based on that, create and redesign um, and provide new images for that particular thumbnail that the user has provided. So this, the first step is to initiate that process by asking the user for an image to upload. Um, and then I'm going to say establish a persistent request loop. So this means that keep asking the user for an image um, because otherwise we won't be able to go ahead to next steps. And as I said in the bottom here, this step is crucial as it sets the foundation visual reference, right? So that way, if we don't have a user generated or uploaded image, we won't have the foundation to move forward and create the new thumbnail designs that this GPT will have. Okay, so the next step is that once we have received the image from the user, now go ahead and comprehensively analyze the thumbnail that's provided. We want to have the GPT document every aspect of the image uh, with attention to detail. We wanted to actually analyze the colors. We wanted, to, we wanted to analyze the structural design elements, the topographic choices, and kind of the overall content narrative that it presents, right? So this detailed descriptions, again, will act as the blueprint for creating and recreating new images. So, and I've also provided at the end that precision is the key because we want to make sure it understands that it wants, we want the GPT to replicate the original design of the image that we have uploaded uh, to its true character. Okay, so now the next step 
um, we said that drawing upon the detailed description formulated in the previous step, uh, so now go ahead and create a new visual that mirrors the original thumbnail with high quality and then it employs graphic design techniques to make sure that the essence and the core elements of the thumbnail are captured in your rendition, achieving a balance between faithful recreation and introduction of subtle enhancements that may improve the visual appeal. So again, this is very important because this is relying on the previous step. So the first step is it's going to go ahead and analyze that image and then now we're telling it now that you have done that go ahead and create a new image but we wanted to make sure that it's staying true to the original elements of the core uh, to the original core elements of the thumbnail that was uh, uploaded by the user all right so the next step is that we want now the second image so we want the gpt to create another image now uh, we wanted to embark on a creation of an alternative version of the original image. Uh, so again, we are telling it that this step requires innovation while adhering to the originals uh, uh, to the originals intent and message. Um, and we said that the challenge is to interpret the initial design in a novel way and then create basically another one uh, with a different creativity and but at the same time, we want to make sure that we're not deviating from the original content's meaning. Okay, so the last one, we're going to say, all right, now create another one, but this one should be very unique. Uh, this is where we're telling it to kind of go nuts into your creativity, right? So we're saying that this is the opportunity to experiment um, and come up with unconventional color palettes. Um, and again, this is the third one that we're going to be creating. So we're telling it that it doesn't have to be basically as accurate to the original thumbnail, but at the same time, you want to kind of stay within the concept within the core design of the original image but the third one should be um, very futuristic it should be very experimental okay so now that we have all of the instructions set we're all good to go so i'm going to go ahead and close this all right so everything looks good i'm going to come down here and make sure that the capabilities are all checked off. So web browsing, Dolly image generation, code interpreter, especially the Dolly image generation, because again, this is going to use Dolly pretty heavily. Uh, so everything looks good. Uh, the description, I create new thumbnails from images you provide. That looks good too. Uh, name your GPT. I'm going to say thumbnail genius. For some reason it didn't put that in here, but that's fine. All right. That looks cool. Conversation starters. Generate a thumbnail from this image, create a new thumbnail based on this photo, reimagine this image as a thumbnail, design a thumbnail using elements from this image. Actually, these are all pretty good, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. All right, so let's test this out. I'm going to go ahead and upload a thumbnail of one of Mr. Beast's videos. So this is the image that I uploaded. It's Mr. Beast dressed up as a captain with a golden yacht in the background. So now what it's going to do is based on the instruction we provided, it's going to go ahead and actually analyze the picture that we uploaded. It's going to take a look at the color spectrum, the structural design elements, the topography. And then what it's going to do, it's going to go ahead and create the first image that's going to be very, very similar to the original thumbnail that we provided. There you go. So it's moving on to creating the first image. All right, so that looks very cool, actually. It's very close to the original one. I mean, the captain is kind of inside this YouTube thing, but but it captured majority of the, um, the original content and the original color palette and topography of the picture. And again, you can always tell it to provide you new images if you don't like this one, uh, but it looks like it captured the image pretty, pretty closely. Um, so now what it's going to do, the next step is going to create something very different. Exactly. As you can see, now it created something very unique um, while staying true to the original core message of the image itself. So it has the yacht, it has the captain, but now it has its own kind of creative spin that it put on it. Um, so now the third step should be creating another image that's going to be um, a bit more wild, right? So I would imagine it's going to use a different color palette. Oh, there you go. That's very cool. It's like a very new, different design. Uh, the captain is still there. The yacht is still there, but it's gotten this really cool kind of artsy um, color design that it's put. All right. So actually it followed the instructions exactly like we told it to, right? So it created the first image that's very similar to the original uh, picture. It created a second one that was a bit more creative. It created a third one that's a bit more 
different and the design and the colors uh, palettes and uh, the structural elements are also very very different but but very cool as you can see so all of these uh, images that are generated is very unique very different from one another but it actually followed our instructions exactly to uh, the point so again i have put these instructions in the youtube description of this video uh, so that way you guys can take this and kind of add additional details to it or remove some of the stuff so that way if you're creating um, this for a different topic uh, you can have this as a base and that way you can start to play around with it all right, so this looks cool. I'm going to go ahead and save this. I want to publish and say confirm. All right, so now I can actually go ahead and track with it. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.